land that we stand on today and think about the struggles and trials that the peoples of this continent have been through over these many, many hundreds of years. Today, we come together in solidarity because of tragedy that has again come on us as a people. And we are all here today to recognize that we don't stand for bigotry, intolerance, and hatred and we commit yeah. ourselves to the work defending this now. <laughs> We're privileged to have many great speakers here with us today and community leaders. And I want each of us, as we hear the comments to be presented in front of us, to think about our role in dismantling the systems of white supremacy and hatred. The people that enacted the terrorist events that we saw occur are people that look like many of us in this audience. And they are friends, family, co-workers, business people, teachers, social workers. All of us have a responsibility to look in the eyes of our friends and our family and call out the issues when we see them. Yeah. 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 It's no longer time to sit by when grandfathers make tasteless jokes that encourage bigotry and selfishness and hatred. It's time to stand up. This is about love. Love is not about smiling and nodding and turning away from when we see injustice. Love is bold and kind. And those people in your life that stand up and make comments over and over again deserve your love to teach them that there is another way, a way that we will walk to together. So I'd like to welcome now Dr. Strick Strickland, who is the president of the Kalamazoo Metropolitan NAACP. Please welcome him, join with him, and listen to the words he has to share today. I'm not quite... Check my... I'm not quite for sure what the weight limit is on this table. <laughs> but we are putting it at capacity right now. <laughs> you know, when I was asked to come and to say a few words on behalf of the NAACP, it made me think about how fortunate and how blessed we are to have a community like Kalamazoo. That even in spite of things that are going on around us, and sometimes even within our own county, that is times like this when we get the opportunity to celebrate the harmony and the unity that we have across so many different barriers and so many different diverse marks and margins. And so I wanted to take out this time. Uh, I know that everyone will echo the words of myself and many others who say that we need more unity and less division. The reality of it is, is that this problem is not a problem of one race or another race alone. It's a problem of division. Division is unhealthy for any group of people who plan on walking progressively and productively together. And until we deal with it, and until we deal with the difficulties and the challenge and confront division head on, we will always see it derail our progress. There's been much great progress that has happened throughout this country, and we've been blessed to all share in that in one way or another. But I want to make a quick acknowledgement while I'm here just about the fabric of Kalamazoo. 
you know, as president of the NAACP and senior pastor of Second Baptist Church, I have the unique privilege of pastoring the oldest congregation in Kalamazoo, the oldest African-American descended congregation in the Baptist community of Kalamazoo. And that congregation was started in 1854. Now let me tell you something real quickly for you to embrace and feel real good about as you continue to think about Charlottesville and all of the different places that we're lifting in prayer. In 1854, First Baptist of Kalamazoo already had a relationship with people in the black community, such a strong relationship that it begot and gave birth to First African Baptist of Kalamazoo in 1854 that happened. Now, about 50 years after that, the congregation decided that they no longer wanted to be First African Baptist and known by their ethnicity, but we decided that we wanted to be called Second Baptist Church of Kalamazoo Mission. Amen. Sometimes when we go in and out of the doors of Second Baptist, we forget the rich history and the many relationships that it took for us to do ministry as we do it today. Sometimes I'm sure that individuals who go in and out of the doors of First Baptist have no idea about how their history has influenced our opportunity to impact our community. <laughs> well, days like today are not all sour. These are the kinds of times when we must come together and remind one another how important it is that although both communities might be self-sufficient, that we do not work in isolation from one another. But that, this reminds us of just how important it is to continue to reach across racial boundaries, to reach across religious barriers, to reach across any source of division, and to make sure that we are uplifting and encouraging every productive and progressive group, organization, and citizen by supporting them hand in hand as we all move forward. I come today as the member, as the president of the NAACP to acknowledge that we are committed to this charge. We are committed to this endeavor. We're committed to not allowing um, any media attention to Charlottesville to make us mistake the great county and the great city that we have. We are encouraged and inspired to utilize events around us to make our domestic communities better, to make our relationships stronger, and to perform preventative measures to make sure that in the days to come, these things never bleed into the city of Kalamazoo, Michigan. say thank you. Thank you for working together. Thank you for seeing it as so important and so vital to stand together in times like these. Thank you for coming against hatred, not just with our billboards and not just with our signs and all of those things that we put together, but with our day-to-day -day actions, with how we treat and embrace one another in our daily vocations, how we raise our children, how we trust our society. acknowledging that as far as the Metropolitan Kalamazoo NAACP, all of our friends and all of our supporters, we stand with you in solidarity as we lift up and continue to perpetuate peace in the direction of Charlottesville, Virginia. May God bless you and keep you as our friend.